can be the person. What's the person? You're the person. What does that mean? Oh, it means the right by. All right, I think it's due time for a honest conversation with you. Because here's the thing, I've told this channel time and time again, I'm back, I'm coming back, don't call it to come back, I'm coming back, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go hard. And every single time, I stop. And I am so sick of it. But I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about kind of what's going on with my life, give you guys an update there, and then see where we can go. So where we left off, I said, I'm gonna film the open. I'm going to record the open. I'm going to do all that and put it up on YouTube. And it's going to be awesome. You guys can see how I do. And I didn't do that. And the reason is just because it felt like a lot of work, um, kind of embarrassing about where I, my fitness level is to want to record it. And the first week of the open, we were actually in Austin, Texas. And I went and worked out at like 5 a.m. Did 24.1 at 5 a.m. at a random gym in Texas. And so I didn't even think about filming it. I forgot about it. And then after the fact, I'm like, crap, I didn't film that workout. And I was not about to do that workout again. The next two weeks, back to normal. Uh, but I was capturing all the content for Friday Night Lights at the gym. So I had my camera and I had, you know, taking pictures, taking video, but it was solely focused on doing it for other people for the gym to post so they can post about their wins and excitement of the open. And trying to also record myself while recording all that just was going to be a nightmare. And so when I gave up and accidentally didn't film during the first week, it just kind of easily rolled over into the next week, into the next week. And then comes where my standings are. So if you open up the CrossFit Games app and look at kind of where I landed in the worldwide rankings, I was in the 60th percentile. At one point, 2019 John, I can't stand him because he was so fit. I was in the 91st percentile at one point in my life. So top 10% of the athletes in the world, I was in that rank. And to see that I have gone down to the 60th percentile is quite humbling. Last year, I was in the 65th percentile. So I became less fit last year when I thought I was trying to be more active and more uh, on it and consistent. Now, last year I had a wonder at Max Thruster and I was able to place in the 97th percentile of that. Um, so that definitely boosted my score a little bit, whereas we didn't have any strength in this year's open. It still was a humbling like, okay, that this is a bummer. I will say this though. I have a determination now to do better than I did before, even better than the last two years. I have that determination now more than I've had before, and I've been able to stay consistent for this last month. I've been able to see the results growing, getting better, getting faster, getting stronger, which is good. And I'm excited to see where I end up in the next open, uh, but that's a whole year away. So I absolutely want to record content leading up to it, to see kind of how I did before versus where I am then. And I'm more motivated than I've been in the past four years, but just wanted to share. That's kind of where I ended up in the open. Felt like you probably deserved a little bit of an update for that. And I know I have been the king of ghosting you, king of gaslighting, saying I'm gonna be around and then not be around. So I apologize for that. Look at this again. Jump over you. Uh-huh. Don't give me. Don't get me. Don't get. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Another thing that I've been more consistent in achieving, wanting to be better at, uh, do it more, is coaching. I've been coaching at CrossFit Darkside a lot more consistently, um, taking on more classes, trying to gain more experience. And with that, at the end of next month, I'm actually going in for my CrossFit L2 which would be awesome to get, kind of grow my skill, grow my knowledge, grow my expertise in that area. So that's another kind of notch in the thing that I'm attempting to achieve this year is getting my L2 and just kind of continue to grow and advance as a coach at the gym. Now, another thing that's been keeping me from being able to make these videos is my job, which of course, I mean, we all need a job, we all need to make income, and we all need to provide for our families and for ourselves and keep a roof over our head and keep food in our house. So that's not like a bad thing, but it is a thing that has kept me from being able to record regular videos or you know make it 
as consistent as I would like it to be. I have made the decision that I want to kind of pivot in what I've been doing with my life, which is going to be partly terrifying, partly exciting, partly a gamble. Um, I would love to open up and start and really vamp a video production agency. I'd love to make videos for brands, for people, for channels, for gyms, and film and edit it and just kind of be a one man shop for them. And I know that it's possible and it's something that I wanted to do before, but I just definitely did not have the experience to really go for it last time. And this time I feel like I've got the experience, I've got the equipment, I've got the tools, I've got the expertise, I've got the knowledge. And it's something that I'm really excited about, but it has to be a smart transition into it. I don't have any clients really. So if I just quit my job right now, I'd have nothing to go on, but that is something that I'm going to be actively pursuing. And in that this YouTube channel is going to be a large part of that. A large part of the production agency is being able to record uh, YouTube videos to put it out there, to encourage people to um, showcase talent, whatever. The YouTube channel is a part of that next mission. So I'm really excited about making this more intentional um, because there is a goal behind it and it's not necessarily to become a full-time YouTuber. That is not the dream, that is not the goal. I would love to create a production agency for brands, for gyms, for people, to be able to create videos and content and testimonials that people can connect with and engage with. And it's something that's really exciting. And so I am, starting the process of actively pursuing making that more of a reality in my life, which is exciting. Throughout all the jobs that I have done, this has been the consistent thing that I've tried returning to. So now let's just make it a reality and let's just go for it. So speaking of clients and income, there are a couple people that I've already been able to partner up with that I'm really excited about. Like I said, I've been doing videos for the gym, CrossFit Darkside. Um, and that most of that is kind of like, hey, I thank you for being an awesome gym. I want to continue to be a member here and help this gym grow. So it's less income based and more a desire to see that gym grow. Um, but through that connection, I was able to partner up with a local barbell company that I'm really excited about, make content for them in the future, Hero Barbell. So just starting the connections and the the relationships within people in the industry. I would love to be able to do videos at some of the semifinals at the games just in the future um, for a brand, for a person following them. I think that'd be really cool. And to see those opportunities happening already is really exciting. Uh, what a lovely family. These are my babies. <laughs> and the last part of our little chat. What do you want to see on this channel? What do you want me to talk more about, show more of? I know my family is going to be a huge part of it. Uh, production, growing, video, CrossFit, fitness, coaching. Like these are all going to be aspects and part of it. But what would you like to see in this channel? And I hope you guys will notice like this. Definitely not an ideal situation to be filming in, but it's what we've got and it's what we've got right now. And maybe as things grow, this can become a little bit more of official instead of a random corner in my garage. But right now is what we got. And I'm really excited about it. We're starting small. We're starting scrappy, uh, but I believe that we can build something. I believe that I can build something. I think it'd be really cool. And I want to take you all along for the journey, not just in fitness, but also with my family, growing a business, growing a brand, growing a channel, staying fit while also being a dad and a husband and all these things. And if that's something that you're interested in, then keep on coming. I can't promise you that I'll do it every week. Uh, there might be some times in between where I don't film, but we're gonna keep doing this. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Just leave a comment down below, either what you'd like to see, what you've liked in the past, and uh, we'll keep this conversation going. See you guys next time.